all you artists and would-be artists. Tonight we're going to learn how to do an 8x10 painting, a little abstract of tulips. And we're going to start with our 8x10 canvas, and we're going to use two items that probably would seem a little unusual to you. The paint that we're using is nail polish, and the medium that we're using to indicate shapes or to give a base for the nail polish is nothing but quick seal that you can pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's. Just make sure that it's paintable. And we spread it on the 8x10 canvas much as you would frosting on a cake. And I do it anywhere from an eighth to a quarter inch thick. And once you've spread it, it doesn't have to be perfectly even. Then you take a butter knife and what I do is just a little random oblong round shapes kind of uh, just in different places around the canvas and you can see the indication of the leaves just take the knife and just do little swoops wherever you would like your leaves and now time for patience because you need to allow this to dry overnight at least but once it's dry then what you do is take your little painting and you spray paint it as you can see this was painted with black supposedly flat uh, spray paint <clears throat> but you could use any color that you like and the nail polish it I ha actually have six colors that I'm, I'm using I try to limit my palette in most everything that I do but especially if uh, this is a first painting you, you might want to just use a few colors but I'm going to show you uh, the painting that's like three quarters done. Um, you can see here and the painting and this is the color that we use to start with our little tulips. And I do one at a time and I, sometimes what I do is just kind of pour a little bit of polish on the shape that you've already indicated with your knife and use a little brush that lives inside to spread it around. While it's still damp, what I do in this case is use a little yellow to indicate light and then a touch of purple, there we go, here on the other side to indicate a little bit of a shadow. Then you can see the leaves obviously are green and I like the metallic, I like the bling, and a little bit of purple to put in here to indicate shadow. <clears throat> and then you see the little white flowers. I just use white to put a few drops around where I think the flowers would look nice. And a little bit of purple on top to tone the white down just a little bit and maybe indicate a center. And of course, we don't want to forget the sky. You can use any color blue that you like. More than likely, this is not going to end up in a museum. But if you do it and you like it, you might want to frame it. But let me show you another painting that I did that's very similar. You can see here, the colors are a little bit different. Might give you an idea to, to do yours, maybe different colors. But the nice thing about this is it was painted seven or eight years ago. And you can see that it's not flaking at all. And so you would think that nail polish would be like a polish on, in a manicure that it would flake off, but it doesn't. But if you would prefer not using nail polish, acrylic is uh, works well too. I've used that. Um, but the only thing is you need to use an acrylic base. You don't need to use a spray paint. But if you have a fear of doing a painting and uh, you would like to try. I hope this has given you some incentive. As far as I know, there's no painting policeman that will come around and take a look at your painting. If you don't like it, you can start over. And eventually, I hope to have some more Zoom classes where we can take a little bit more time and maybe we can explore a few more uh, 
other techniques together. But I've enjoyed it, and I hope you have too. Thanks.